Zambol 2. A 75 mm diameter orifice with coefficient of contraction 0 0.608 at the vertical side of a 1.5 meter diameter cylindrical tank discharges water such that water surface measured from the center of the orifice drops from 2 meters to 1.5 meters in 58 seconds. So determine the following, the coefficient of discharge, the distance to which the jet strikes the ground if the center of the orifice is 1.2 meters above the ground at the instant the head over it is 1.5 meters then the time it takes the water surface to drop 0.5 meter from a head of 1.5 meters so we use the formula for prismatic tanks for the time for the surface to drop from one level to the other t equals 2 ash then to area S, quantity square root of HI minus square root of HF over cow. So to area S, quantity square root of HI minus square root of HF over cow. Tog, where area S is constant and it is area of the of the cylindrical tank. So time is 58 seconds. Area S is pi times 0.75, the radius square, then quantity square root of 2 minus square root of 1.5, over C, which is unknown, area of orifice is pi, radius of orifice is 0 0.0375 meter square, then square root of 19.62, cancel out pi, solve for C, so C is, coefficient of discharge is 0 0.5900. Then the distance to which the jet strikes the ground if the center of the orifice is 1.2 meters above the ground, so that is Y. At the instant, the head over it is 1.5, this is big H. And the equation of the trajectory when the orifice is at the vertical side of a tank is X squared equals 4 C sub V squared head times Y. Where C sub V can be computed from C equals C sub C, C sub V. So 0.59, this is C, equals C sub C, 0 0.608 times C sub V. So C sub V is 0 0.9704. Then substitute here, X square equals 4 times 0 0.9704 square. Head is 1.5 and Y is 1.2 above the ground. Solving for X, X is 2.604 meters. So the jet strikes... Horizontally, 2.604 meters. From the orifice. Then, the time it takes the water surface to drop 0.5 meter from a head of 1.5. So, if the initial head is 1.5 and it drops... 0.5 meter, so the final lead is 1.5 minus 0.5, so it is 1. Substitute into this formula here, this formula. So T equals 2 pi 0.75 square, quantity square root of 1.5 minus square root of 1, over 0.59 pi 0 0.0375 square times square root of 19.62. Again, cancel pi, and using the calculator, time is 68.8 seconds. So that's it for this second example.